to address our city's budget crisis. And there's been lots to talk about, and we've talked a lot. So one session was seven hours, and one was four and a half hours. At the end of the first session, there were 15 uh, points of pension reform that came out of that session. And then last weekend, uh, the Budget LA group uh, approved a letter which is being delivered to the mayor and the city council today. Behind me are representatives geographically uh, from throughout the city of Los Angeles, neighborhood council leaders, who have some specific points they'd like to address with regards to the COA, uh, CAO's uh, proposals for city reorganization, specifically addressing the city charter and the neighborhood council system. So, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Simons. I'm Sean Simons. I'm from the Empowerment Congress North Area of South LA. As true localized and focused community leaders, neighborhood councils are able to accomplish what city council cannot, pointed solutions to the micro problems of a neighborhood. And we do it all on $45,000 a year. Impossible, you could say, if you were looking in from the outside. How do they manage such a feat? By the hard work of over 1,800 volunteers who donate over well over 18,000 hours of service a year to their communities through their neighborhood councils. That's 450 free 40-hour work weeks for the city, comprised of people whom the city need not provide pension, health, or overtime. As the council looks to cut their budget, one would hope they are focusing on cutting bloated government and consolidating management before they start to hack away at programs. And the, the previous controller showed massive fraud in city government, 10 million being wasted on uh, automobiles that people were using on their own time, that were not supposed to, only supposed to be used on city time. They have three pension funds that if they combined them into one, they would save 20 to 40 million a year. There is so much waste in the city. Sean, can you spell your name for us? Yes, S-H-A-W-N, S-I-M-O-N-S, Sean Simons, with the Empowerment Congress, North Area Neighborhood Development Council. Go ahead, uh, by region. Aye. Right. So, North Valley? Aye, North Valley. Talking here about the value, neighborhood councils are a funding community and communication solution as we work together to address the city's budget crisis and to forget that we are partners is a problem that is inefficient and inexpensive. And expensive. We, we should maintain city funding levels at the current rate and work with the neighborhood councils at the table as part of the solution. Uh, this is the best bargain in town, neighborhood councils. We have 89 councils with 1,800 dedicated volunteers. They in turn organize other volunteers to clean up the neighborhood's trash, the beaches, and all the graffiti. Uh, we fund with our monies, we fund the park programs, the school projects, and the library improvements. This funding at this time with city budgets in such bad shape is critical to help keep our youngsters off the streets. Thank you. Uh, we're the Harbor Gateway North Neighborhood Council. We're located just below South Los Angeles and we're a predominantly working class community. We value the, the support from the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment. Without it, we would not be able to do our job of being the grassroots democracy for our community. Let me ask you a question. We're, we're affluent neighborhoods, Sherman Oaks, Encino, Woodland Hills. And, uh, and you know Beverly, Beverly, uh, uh, Bel Air, Beverly Crest. They could probably get by without the money. They could probably get quite a bit. In your area, you're struggling to come up. So you would be particularly hard hit if they cut your funding down to zero. Of so th th that's not fair. I mean, no, you use a meat axe to, to cut funding. I would think. You want to know what the bottom line is about all of this? Oh, absolutely. Is to kill the neighborhood council system. The activists that got involved with the Neighborhood Council in the beginning, we became very, very active. We learned how to navigate City Hall. We went to meetings and we learned some of the language and everything. And now we have become very pesky. If they cut off the funding and destroyed and cut the budget and cut the staffing at the office at Dunn, this would absolutely do away with the pesky Neighborhood Council. Barbara. Monahan Burke, Studio City Neighborhood Council Board Member and Government Affairs Committee Co-Chair.
I am here to speak about the fact that neighborhood councils are mandated by law, the city charter, to exist. And there is funding, appropriate funding mandated within that city charter. Because we need appropriate funding to fulfill our mandate. We must ask the hard questions. Does this action result in a benefit or does it set us back? Getting the neighborhood council system at a time when the mayor and city council need support for the real decisions that must be made is irresponsible and unwise. You know, you, you can't fund a pension the way that the city has been doing it and hoping that, that it will somehow come right one day when it hasn't been right for the past, what, four years? Each year it fails to meet its target and yet we go back to the same people who again fail to meet their target and that means the city now has to put in more money to meet those budget, those pension uh, demands. Let me ask you Mr. Berger, the, uh, since the experts seem to know what the problem is, why isn't the political will there to make changes? That's a, a question for the politicians to answer. I'm not a politician. But um, I think the important thing is that you're getting the word out and you're getting the message out that there really is an explanation for what's gone wrong. And if that is the right explanation, we should be looking at what the answers are because it affects all of us. Thank you. Thank you.